property values. So I, as I said, I live on Cathedral Avenue in the towers, right across from the Wesley Heights neighborhood. So beautiful homes, they're all, they all go for a very nice price if you were to buy them. They are not impacted by the fact that there are multifamily buildings across the street. My family's not a threat to that. But what I would say is that there are restaurants on New Mexico, and there's a shopping center on New Mexico next to a low density neighborhood. And that's possible because of gentle density. It's not a threat to single family neighborhoods. It can make them much stronger and much more dynamic place to live. The other thing I think, you know, we have an existential threat to our city, and that's the fact that it's increasingly impossible for people to live here. It's really expensive. It's really expensive. I know very few people who, who, I, who I work with, who are my age, who live in D.C. anymore because they're having kids and they can't afford to live here. That is something that happens in other parts of the country, and those cities are not healthy places. It's not a good situation. And so our, the, our scale of our ambition, though, has to match the problem. We can't just be talking about one project delivering 200 units, 300 units. We need to deliver thousands of units in the district year over year if we want people to be able to live here.